we have a table of values and we need to say which of the following choices represents the same relationship as this table. So the first look at the table, it is difficult to identify a pattern. So let's, let's put a pin into it and check the answers first. Answer A says that y equals 4x minus 2. To verify that, we need to simply to place the values of x and y from the table into the equation. So let's place the first pair. 4, y equals 4, and, and x equals 0, minus 2. So 4 equals 0 minus 2. That is minus 2. 4 does not equal minus 2. So A is incorrect because one of the rows is incorrect. Moving on to B. B says something very interesting. It says that the function is definitely not a linear function. Well, that gets us back to the table. Let's check the differences between the x and y values. So in the first one, it's plus 4. In the second one, that's plus 1. The third one, that's minus 2. In the third one, it's plus 1 again. In the fifth one, it's minus 2 again. And on the last one, it is minus 6. So we see an inconsistent growth pattern. And that really proves that this is not a linear function. Because if we're talking about linear function, we linear functions, we need to see a consistent growth pattern. So it doesn't say that it is impossible to find a function with these set of uh, this set of values, but this is definitely not a linear function. So B is correct. Let's have a look at C and D either way. C says it provides a, a linear equation. Again, we can place a couple of values and check whether they fit or not. So Again, we choose 0 and 4, x equals 0, y equals 4, and we see that it provides us, it gives us 0 equals 6. That is obviously incorrect, so c is incorrect. d displays a graph. It's a, a graph of a sinus, a, a sinus function, and Maybe it is correct, but what we need to do is to look for the values in the table. If we can find all of them, that's great. If we cannot, it is incorrect. Again, I'm looking for 0 and 4. So I have 0. I expect to find it at 0, 4. But since I see that the first point is not located on the graph, then D is incorrect. All in all, B is the correct answer. This is not a linear function.